Hello there, fellow enjoyers. I got some very good news for you. I have made a big research on Pharaoh infantry and their unit balance, so you will be able to make well-informed decision on which units you will be recruiting or using for your battles in order to win more decisively, maybe to win some heroic victories or even boost your auto resolve. I did a big research on all these infantry units that are in the game, even for native rosters, and I want to show you results. Let me start with the most broken units in the game. I have, I can show you which units are very strong, or even I can show you which units are very weak. And to make this very easy for you, I have made a big Excel, which I simplified and you can read about your favorite roster to see which unit is actually very strong and maybe some reasoning of why. So just for a, an example, we already see that, that Babylon is having very strong units. And my reasoning is that they have 160 models and very strong stats and that they are outperforming other units. This is one example. Now let's have a look on, on the game if this is somewhat true. So let's go to the Babylon. Let's have a look these spears. 25 attack, 45 defense seems quite average. Um, quite average um, weapon. Armor is pretty good and this 160 units is what makes them very strong. You would be arguing that it is all because of Silohlu, but I did some simulation without this ability and all their performance, which is very high, is all without this Silohlu ability. Oh, I told you that I did some simulation. Yeah, this Excel which is um, quite detailed. Uh, it is not just my opinion. It is not just by looking at the stats. There is some real fighting of models versus models. So if you want to check every roster, every faction, you can see all my feedback in this second sheet. For example, Remesis has unit with just 100 models instead of 120 and that's that's very much likely why this unit is out is not performing very well so let's check Ramesses to see if i am correct and then i will show you the more data behind oh yeah they have 100 models okay charge okay stats very weak armor yeah okay now let's get back to our Excel. So at your own time, you can scroll down and see which units are good, bad. What is the most important is the most broken, the most weak units. You can quickly abuse this for your min-maxing. Also some uh, other units. In general, yeah, elite units are not worth of their cost and so on and let me show you how did i figured out this so i have every unit in every roster and what is okay let's scroll down to babylon because we know that babylon units are very strong and here if you can see this 40 42 uh, percent it is showing how well they are doing as frontline as frontline, they have very good stats. They are quite okay when you just YOLO charge with them, but I got some good results. And you will be asking, what the heck is this number and why? how I calculate this number? Yeah, uh, another piece of information that you can scroll up and down is having, having a, a look on the actual battles. I've been fighting with every unit versus another unit uh, and captured which unit has won or lost, 
or maybe if it was very even, I have captured uh, how many times is this unit stronger. For example, this is quite even. Here, this unit, my unit was underperforming and also how many kills have been made in the battle and also just for curiosity the lethality yes i do use lethality in the simulation uh, it's showing around 17 percent in global average are models are killed by lethality and you can scroll up and down and filter which you need to have a look at your own time okay still i need to do some explanation because you will still not believe that all this feedback is valid and i can tell you that i had made simulation in the past if i go to the previous previous unit balance i was doing 1v1 duels some elo system which i will describe very soon and most importantly I need to tell you or describe that all this simulation is taking consideration of everything whether it is charging whether it is how many models are fighting armor degradation stamina as well in th in our in my latest version i also have lethality and i'm using pure rng and multiple duels to average them uh, to calculate how strong they are so everything what I did in the past but improved with lethality and armor degradations and everything so just to quick you small extra inf yeah here do you see how I just calculated some r random some number yeah let me unhide extra columns which are here if you are really interested in performance if you understand what is elo in the chess then every unit uh, yeah here is having their own elo in frontline battles or even for charging and to calculate performance i have converted this elo number exponential number into linear number so you can see the the correct linear number and it's easier to measure so that's one improvement okay 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 let's go to the driving board because this might be still too confusing and let's start from the beginning we have one our unit that is going to fight um, another en enemy unit how did I make the simulations usually the, b the best scenario is when these units just charge each other they will be fighting uh, with s around 30 models uh, during the fight and after after such time one unit will just route and that will be the baseline for our simulation so uh, we have every single unit fighting every single unit which will be a big excel the big excel is actually uh, all these simulated battles i know which unit was winning how much decisively maybe maybe here you can see my unit is about 58 percent stronger just just based on this single duel i got some good results then uh, since you know that my calculation is pretty similar to what is going on in the in, in battles in actual game then i started to calculate it elo elo ranking is quite an interesting one uh, when you have a chess then players are competing against each other so and when somebody is winning then he will get some elo and and the other guy will lose some elo uh, when you have let's say you are starting with 1200s and if you are doing very well you can climb for example to 
one to 1600s and in standard ELO when you have plus 40 ELO you are 10 times more likely to win you are just uh, 10 times stronger so if these two players were playing each other uh, then this 1600 guy would win um, 10, 9 or 9 out of 10 times or at least this kind of likely so something like that we have in in my um, simulation I just made it that just 150 ELO is, is going to be two times stronger unit which is similar um, to understand ELO is exponential um, it, it, it is exponential so if you had uh, 1200 here and you need to be 10 times better to get here so it's exponential for our simulation I just made it less exponential so so the numbers will be closer to each other that doesn't matter so we got some ELO and ELO is hard to understand and compare you know when you look at these two numbers you, you would be thinking hmm it's just plus 33% stronger or so or, or no plus 25% stronger but in actually in, in reality it's 10 times stronger so I have translated all both ELO values into the actual power actual linear numbers so let's go back to the, the yeah here is the here are the exponential values and if you are if you are 10 times stronger then you should be having 10 times bigger performance but since Pharaoh nobody is getting so high performance uh, then it's much easier to see two times oh let's have a look on this unit this is a very good example here uh, elite vanguard elite candidate vanguard if we are going to use it as frontline it would be two times weaker as let's say this 400 yeah asteroids chosen yeah so that would make sense if you are going to use two two elite chargers as a front line you would be they would be having similar performance as the one Troy's chosen as front line yeah and now we got some numbers that we can calculate we can uh, work with and since I have made um, some global average then you can have a look and see hmm this unit Aramean tribesman is okay good front line and terrible charger and of course one headed units are terrible chargers and usually they are good front line so one thing about the front line and charger units so uh, here in the beginning I mentioned that these two units just charge into other and fight till somebody routes uh, we don't we have two more scenarios which we can calculate uh, we can we can having we can have uh, two units just grinding each other without any charge and then waiting the, till somebody uh, routes this is very typical frontline situation where one of the units is having some shield wall formation which will be blocking any charge so the whole combat is without charge and then for chargers we of course we want to uh, charge in and then pull back and then charge in so so we should be considering um, their charge bonus more often so 
I can run simulations with different scenarios and the best baseline is to use what, what is happening in actual battles. In battle you just right click unit and wait till you win. If you are losing you bring another unit. And that's what people are doing in battles most of time. So this is our baseline. We are not using any extra abilities. So all these numbers which you see, this is not modified by terrain, this is not modified by Siluhlu or uh, Underdog or some other buffing abilities. This is all without stances. So use these baseline numbers to give you idea and how the unit is behaving, how it is good and to make it very simple for you, I just made such a list. Right now you can see which units are very strong. Oh yeah, let me show you Palace and Palace too. Oh boy. So we know that Babylon is broken, very strong. And let me show you why also Palace is very, very strong. We got very, two units with solid stats. The biggest reason for me it's they are very ch cheap cost. They are very cheap for such good stats. So that would be my primary reason why they are outperforming other units. Next we have Palace to Swords, medium unit with 90 armor. 90 armor. That's that's pretty much that's a lot. Another unit with 90 armor, pretty good stats. And Big reason, oh boy, why are these units very strong? First of all, tier 5 units no longer have 90 models, but 120. The second reason, the Palace and Palace 2 having insane armor, they are going to be very tanky. So that's why this faction is very much banned in all tournaments. And because it's too tanky. Oh yeah, these guys, good armor, good, very good stats. Yeah, this every this is pretty strong. Oh, let me show you one cool thing. Uh, we have Mycenae and they are elite Mycenae axemen. Nine hundred twenty, quite good stats. And when I just compare it with slightly more quite more expensive unit, um, the elite with the elite Canadian Vanguard is having less armor. So you are paying more for the abilities like Vanguard and Ambush. So that's why if you just right click and uh, expect to win, you should not use Bay because these units as shown in the Excel are doing poorly in the combat and you really need to use this information to play tactically and ambushing and flanking everywhere so but if you want very easy faction just just go and fight you go with Palisade or Babylon or or other units that are in the Excel which is linked in description below so uh, I hope that you find this helpful, if anything just have deeper look on the excel and see you later.